My name is Nathan Brown, and for my ENME 351 final project, I built a Mark I mechanized helmet based on the Iron Patriot suit from Iron Man 3. The helmet was 3D printed on the Artillery Sidewinder X1 in gold and red PLA. I used the MPU 6050 inertial measurement unit, which includes an accelerometer and a gyroscope. I used the MPR 121 capacitive touch sensor, an LCD, a speaker, two MG995 20 kilogram servos, and an Arduino Mega. The STL files for the helmet were downloaded from my mini factory by artist Peter Snyder. I tweaked the file in Fusion 360 and Mesh Mixer, and I sliced it for 3D printing in Cura. In Fusion 360, I also measured and designed a servo brace for the helmet. The helmet is equipped with two capacitive sensors. One of them opens and closes, and the other locks and unlocks the faceplate. When I open it, it will stay up, and I can lock it, and if I press it again, it won't go down. But if I unlock it, then it can go down too. Inside the helmet is an LCD and a speaker. You can tell the lock status and the position of the faceplate from the screen and from the speaker. If you unlock it, then you can open it, and vice versa. I program the helmet with two gesture controls. One opens the helmet, and one closes the helmet. I design processing to mimic real life in addition to providing extra information that may be useful. As you can see, the visor and lock status both change when it's adapted in real life. When it's locked, you can hear the buzzer, and when it's unlocked, you can see it open and close. In addition, you can see the rotation and the acceleration. Even after over 100 hours of code, CAD, and troubleshooting, there's still so much that I want to do. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope you enjoyed my 351 project as much as I did.